So uh, good morning, good evening, good day. This is Lou Martin, and I'm here with Helen Quayle, who is um, Awaken, Embody, and Love. You certainly are those things, Helen. Yeah, good morning, my friend. Oh, good morning. Glad to Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Great to have you. Yeah, Thank you, dear. Great. Thank you. Well, I, um, I'm from L.A., and I've been to Mount Shasta many times, so it's, a, it's very dear to my heart. Are you mm -hmm. still in, the, in that neighborhood? I am. Well, yeah, I've been here a couple of years now. Um, I'm Scottish, as you, as you know. Right. Um, but since I was very young, I knew that I would leave and live in a very different environment without knowing what that meant. Um, right. And I called to California. I came in seven years ago. Okay. Um, and then I first came to Shasta in 2015. Um, right. So I'm here for, for now, but it, it's, um, it's the kind of place, as you probably know, people are very much called to for a period of time. And, sure. And there's a next cycle for me too, which is further south. Um, but right now I'm here and bridging in lots of ways and very glad to be here. It's so incredibly transformative. And um, the message that I had even before I got here was that at this specific point in our collective awakening journey, this is the most important point on the planet. Um, right. And I do keep getting lots of confirmation that California, with all its challenges, is also a, a, a pivotal point in, in new consciousness. Um, sure, sure. So, you know, we're multidimensional beings and, um, yeah, bridging many of these aspects. So that's why I'm here at this point in time. And glad yeah, to be beautiful. Here, particularly in the summer. <laughs> yes, it's a bit daunting in the winter, isn't it, my friend? It is a bit daunting. <laughs> I can, Helen, I can remember being up there one winter and seeing snow on either side of the road that was about 20 feet high. Yeah, yeah. Not this yeah. winter, but, but one before we had 40 feet of snow up at Fun Flat. So. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's wild. That's, that's fantastic. Um, well, um, yeah, beautiful. So, um, I, you know, I was just looking at your YouTube and you do, um, group uh, work online. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your work so people can get to know you and follow sure, you? Sure. Yeah, for anyone that's not familiar, um, my, my, my role is, is simple um, and large scale. And um, yeah. simple is not always easy, but my, my role is really in the collective awakening as it is for many of us. Um, right. to, to hold frequent, to really to hold frequency. I'm a frequency holder, um, a bridger, and I I work one on one, and I also work with groups. My primary focus is, um, as I keep being reminded, is more and more to work at a collective level. Um, so at the moment, that's that's mostly online, obviously with the situation. Um, mm -hmm. I, ha I have had groups. Internationally, uh, I've taken groups to Egypt and you know, Glastonbury and um, around right. Europe, different parts in America at various Great. points in the past. Um, my, my focus at this point is primarily the California area, although I'm mm -hmm. always open to going where I'm called. Um, you know, there's the whole alchemy of exchanging our keys and codes. And, sure. and my my um my role is about alchemy and it is absolutely about co-creation. So when I'm right. hold, holding a space often around big gateways, um moon cycles, eclipses, equinox, solstice, and other you know <coughs> other, Excuse me. other energetic gateways, um is just to open that invitation to people with enough with just minimal words, really, and information, so that anyone that just feels a call in their being um, right. carries something that is part of that alchemy, comes together. Right. And right. the last couple you, can I, Sorry, Ellen, can I, is it possible, hun, uh, somebody's just saying they can barely hear you. Can you turn see, up uh, your yeah, volume? That's what I was concerned about. Bit. I've got an issue with okay. my, my mic. I see. Uh, right. I could jump okay. 
to jump onto my phone if that's better because if i plug my external mic on my computer i can't hear you i just sure i just don't sure um no i'll live i'll live with that i can hear you right now and uh we can we can save it for the replay i guess i'm not sure would you have Streamyard on your uh, phone you see right right okay yeah uh, yeah um, okay. We'll live with this for the moment. That's fine. That's fine. I can hear you fine. Uh, okay. So we'll, people will get that on the replay. But um, uh, you were talking about gateways, of course. Thank you so much. Sorry to interrupt. And uh, of course, we're coming up to this third eclipse on July the 4th. Um, is there anything, you know, ev everyone I talk to, Helen, is talking about how the energy is just crazy and very intense. And you know, people are going through a lot of emotional extremes and physical extremes. Um, so anything you might have to share about all of that would be very welcome as well. Yeah, well, gosh, <laughs> where to start, right? Um, yes, Softball question. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes, it, it is. It is um, you know, I remember Sandra's underwater saying like a while ago, maybe a year or two ago, like, you know, that each gate wave, yeah. like it feels like it's just getting stronger and the energies are just getting stronger because they are, <laughs> you know, and I've been using yes. that un unprecedented for some years because we yeah. are in unprecedented times and energies. And um, so it looks, it looks, there's commonality, you know, in terms of some of the things that we experience, but it's unique, just as we're unique expressions of source, because we're sure. unique expressions of source at, at a specific point on our own trajectory as one aspect in uh, collective yeah. consciousness. Yeah. Um, so there's been this whole theme of sovereignty through this, this right. great shift just now. You know, and with that, you know, there's such a, there's more of a call than ever for people to come to our own hearts and listen sure. here. And we've got so um, deprogrammed away from this, so disconnected from this. Um, yeah. So in, in listening to this, you know, it's like, what is your being need right now? Does your being need masses of rest? Does your being need masses of vigorous exercise? Does your sure. being need like tons of green vegetables? Does your uh, being need meat? Does your being need to yeah. fast? Do you need to be right. on your own? Do you need to be with a community? So, sure. you know, there's like, like, there's really like there's like there's less and less leeway for us just to kind of go along with what is external. We, sure. we are, because it is so intense. We are being yeah. called to ourselves, which is so beautiful. And yes, yes. The, the, the underlying foundation has to be compassion. It has yeah. to be love for whatever yeah. we're moving through. And, yeah. and yesterday, um, you know, Amanda is a dear sister of mine, Amanda Lawrence, you know, was just talking about, mm -hmm. I can't remember the words she used, but it was so vast between extremes yesterday. It was just crazy. And, you know, and I was doing my live just and, and I was like laughing and I'm crying. <laughs> and, you know, and joy and just release and all of it. And, you know, it's like you can think you're losing, you know, we are losing our mind in a way, you know, we're coming to this. Sure. Place. Finding sure. our center, you know, finding our center. And a lot of what I bring now, Lou, is bringing us together in this space where, yeah, we meet in zero point. We come to presence. We come to love. And in this space, we meet the edges of what is rising. So mm -hmm. in, in, in our personal system, in the group field and collectively and that can be physical pain as the cells are shifting emotional release cognitive dis dissonance it can be <clears throat> excuse me it can be um you know receiving higher levels of light and activation yeah and yes holding. so when we really come to 
alignment and deep presence, these these um, integrations, these movements are they're actually effortless because there is not a someone doing anything. There is a real like falling back into this and, and allowing whatever the wave is, um, <clears throat> whatever the releasing or whatever the opening. Um, when I, you know, I was mentioning working with, with collective and with group energy, we each yeah. come, come together with their codes and we don't at all need to be conscious of these. It's the alchemy. And the last couple of gatherings I've had for um, six, six and then solstice were just yeah. like unspeakably precious. Um, <laughs> the, the, the really like the power that just happens in that moment as we come together with clear intent to show up in our fullest highest selves to open to the next levels of expansion to release anything that's not in alignment with us now and we're doing this for self for the group and always for the collective so it's always immediately and intimately flowing back into the grids and into the collective fields um, yeah and the power of this is so much faster than we can realize it is mm -hmm. so <laughs> much faster than we can realize even if our if our focus is just on our own shift and we're sitting in our home and we're doing the inner work as you know yeah like that that ripples out and touches every every being that we have any connection with physical yes or physical. so yes the more, the more that we call in a coherent group intention of shift and we see this with mass meditations and so on it is yeah. phenomenal you know like they've measured the impact on you know violence dropping down and so on it's a bit hard mm -hmm. to measure maybe the consciousness consciousness shifts but it's profound sure. um yeah and, and and this is this is a key in my role and i i you know i i i express through a kind of meditative approach um, and I share some of these online and YouTube and so on. And they're, mm -hmm. they're much more than meditations. They're multidimensional transmissions. Um, yeah. Often I'll bring through light language and sound because that's the most, um, that, that's just the most resonant way for the codes to come through. Right. Um, right. So I, I always, um, I, I have to be in a space completely organically and, and intuitively. Sure. It's the path sure. of the divine feminine. The yes, code. yes. And, and the coding that I carry is, for want of better language, which I haven't found yet, is cosmic divine feminine. Um, yeah. Not a being, not a form, it's just a frequency. Right. Yeah. And, and my role is about embodiment. So I lived a lot of my life quite happy in the other realm and, sure uh, still like putting up a fight about being in you know really in this one but as, sure. as you know and i'm sure people are well aware these are the times of embodiment so i work with the body when we're in a group space i, I bring in yin yoga movement breath dance music sound a whole variety of things just that flow with what's happening in the group space mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. we're really not only not only releasing but we're really integrating the mm -hmm. the influx of light because because this light can come in but if our systems can't hold it yeah they can't bend yeah. Hold it, you know so yeah we're adjusting all of these levels all the time and sure. it's, it's vital that we're supporting all of these level levels sure which, relates back to what you were saying earlier about the shifts that people are feeling um you know we're we're, we're perhaps getting a bit more in tune with their multi-dimensionality and aware of how i, I hope so. <laughs> so too well i see yeah so I, I see it yes like, yeah here, uh, Mount Shasta. people are called mm. here when they're either awake to that or they're just awakening to it and mm -hmm. i know my role when I'm working with people here is bringing in 
we're helping to bring in other aspects, other galactic aspects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cosmic aspects that are ready to come in. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the, the frequency can take it and the body can take it. Um, sure, sure. Can I, can I ask you, Han, would you like to talk a little bit about your own awakening, which is obviously profound and permanent from everything you're expressing so beautifully? Oh, that's kind. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty deep, pretty deep, I'd say, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can do the short version. <laughs> I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. Take your time. I'm enjoying this. Well, <clears throat> yeah, and I'm, I'm also a writer. I'm a writer that hasn't finally got their finger out to publish my first book, but I, I shall. And part of Good. my writing is to share my story, Lou. Um, okay. But, you know, it's as a personal memoir, but as a, as a metaphor, because it's very much about mothering energies. So that's a big thing okay. in my journey. Great. Um, I won't go into all of the detail, um, it, but it does involve the five beings that I um, mother to in various capacities. Um, one of them right. is a doctor from Ethiopia. Um, okay. When I was in my 20s, I got very, very ill. And, you know, that's okay. a common factor in, for many of us. Yeah. Um, sure. So that, that was the strongest catalyst shall we say, for my turnaround. Sure. My, my first sure. daughter came along when I was very young and she was a huge awakener. Um, but I was still fighting and because of various circumstances, I, I was led into the body just literally really breaking down to the extent that yeah. I was ill for five or six years, I had a wheelchair, I couldn't work, I couldn't wow. function, I couldn't wow. to deal with people. I mean, I was profoundly ill. Um, Wow, bless you. And well, it's perfect. You know, it was perfect. I was stubborn. <laughs> I was stubborn. Yes, dear. Well, <laughs> good for you. Yeah, you're the only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the only one that's stubborn. Nobody else is stubborn. Um, <laughs> bless your heart. Um, and and that opened me first of all to various therapies, just out of desperation, you know. And, sure, and, sure. And, and really. Began, what I worked through the layers, you know, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, to, to finally really come to that soul level and right. knew that my life would go in a different direction. So that was, by that point, that was like um, about 20 years ago now. Um, right. And then I trained in a whole variety of different modalities, uh, Reiki master teacher and angel healing, all kinds of things. Right. But can I, can I ask you? Can I ask you, dear? So, did you have a connection with God, with the angels, with your guides, with your higher self, as part of your healing and awakening through that process? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like different cycles in my journey, Lou. You know, there was yeah. Like, what came in through that was really profound experiences, actually, particularly with the angelic realms. Okay. Um, I had really disconnected from. I was I was raised Catholic. Um, right. Same. Rejected it in my teens and really same away from from religion certainly and sure. from sure. years around God. Um, so I I was given very direct experiences that cha challenged everything and opened so much. Um, sure. And then uh, yeah, different cycles in the journey. There was points where I had a lot of galactic experiences, very very intensely. And I had a period where I was given a whole system, a healing system, and a whole lot of material oh. um, with the Syrians. Um, okay, yes. And and then after a period of getting lots of information, lots of downloads, and seeing lots and lots of you know, guides and so on, that all shifted as well, because uh, you may as well have encountered this with some people listening. Yeah, That's yeah. Like, Okay, now go do it. <laughs> now these are integrated, <laughs> you know, like on you go, you know. And sure, the more sure. The more that I'm showing up, um, the less information I have, if you like, and the less sure. external guidance, because I know that I've integrated a lot of these aspects. And sure. So, so my role now is, is, is not, you know, I'm not like an energy forecaster. I don't go into lots of detail about what's going on, but I do hold that space multidimensionally. 
and at the mm -hmm. same time I think it's really simple because it is well it is <laughs> you know the whole thing is really yeah. simple we just make yeah. it very complicated right sure sure <laughs> sure brilliant yeah. brilliant yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful well bless you you know, I mean, it's just it's just wonderful to connect with you, my dear lady. Uh, you're such a gentle soul, and uh, obviously, you know, you've had to commit a hundred percent to your path in order to be holding that space, and um, you just radiate, uh, you know, such divine feminine peace and grace and beauty and love. It's just uh, it's just wonderful to to connect with you and get to know you. All of this is wonderful for me. So thank you. Thank you for your kind words. Um, sure. I, I endeavor towards realness always, Lewis. You know, anybody that watches my lives will testify. Um, because I just I just show up and hold the space for us to come together with whatever is new then, you know. And yeah. um, so you know, as you're speaking, I, I I receive your reflection, you know, and I'm laughing because I have a house full of teenagers and so I would disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, they'd have a different perspective. Yeah. Bless them. Yeah. And, and, yeah. I, and that is my role, my role is, to, is to bridge all of it. Like, you know, nothing is, nothing is separate. Nothing is excluded. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, in these times of, oh my goodness, you know, breakthrough and breakdown, like there's so much yes. um, disillusionment and there's so much dissolution. So, like, so many of the paradigms in spirituality were just toxic. Um, sure. Just, just sure. Like so many of the structures we're seeing, you know, politically, economically, sure. all of it. Um, you know, the shadows are being thrown up. So, same as yeah. spirituality. And, and I've been so heartened to see the signs of shift in that. That began a few years ago. And... You know, I feel and hope and pray and hold that space that we're at a time where really in our heart of hearts and in our innermost beings, mm -hmm. we can't accept anything less than truth. Mm -hmm. uh, than, mm -hmm. than what lands as deeply true in our own self. Mm -hmm. there, there are so many influences. Yes. You know, endeavoring to pull us away from that, of course. And sure. We don't need to give any energy to that. It's not again not to not to deny because that's just another form of disconnect. Awareness, mm -hmm. but keeping aligned with centering with what is true, and mm -hmm. and and really prioritizing the things that that nurture that finding center in your own self, which for mm -hmm. most of us is getting on the land, being with Gaia, mm -hmm. nature, a practice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be a formal practice, but time where we really come in and attune and get quiet and listen. Mm -hmm. And and then the body, of course, is integral too. So movement, breath, the things that really work for you at any given point mm -hmm. in time, which mm -hmm. won't be static. You know, we're no. as as we're shifting, as you know, you know, we're we're in the the rebalancing and healing of of the feminine and not only the feminine, the masculine and feminine coming together in mm -hmm. in forms. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what we are. Mm -hmm. So because of our distorted um basis in in patriarchal ways of, mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. we're, we're coming to an invitation to much more flow, to much mm -hmm. more of that spontaneity, intuitivity and intuitive mm -hmm. Um so mm -hmm. I agree. So much, yeah. So much, there's so much joy and magic in this though, right? That sure, um, sure. If we're willing if we're willing to, to surrender the apparent safety of structure, right. predictability, right. all the yes. externals that so many of us looked to for some sense of safety, which of course is just false. It doesn't exist in any of those things. Sure, um, sure. So it's you know yeah. deeply challenging. the The whole world, you know, is is well, the humanity, I should say, rather than mm -hmm. world, is, mm -hmm. is rocking and swaying. Yeah. And some bits are really yeah. not feeling. And yeah. hallelujah, because it right. needs to. You know, it sure. Needs to. We can't just tweak. Sure. You know, we can't just tweak on the top and leave all. 
because right. I'm running it. So, right. Uh, how amazing! How amazing! Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, this is here, and and again, so many of us are, you know, are literally, you know, waking up through this and going, "Holy shit! This is what I came for. This is this is it. This is what right. I've been preparing right. for. This right. is right, right, right here." You know, like we think it's going to look whatever idea that we have. Right, right. This is, this is what it looks like, people. This is sure, this is it. You've asked this for it. You've been prepared. Donald don't Trump, don't Trump panic. Yeah. yeah, that's right. The whole mad, the whole mad picture. Yeah. yeah, just jump in and get comfortable. You know. Yeah, yeah. How is it in Ireland? Really? I'm curious. Well, um, yeah, no, it's honestly, I mean, uh, you know, um, I moved here about 13 years ago. I, I lived in, uh, I, I fell in love with a lady uh, at Mount Shasta. I don't know if you heard of Joshua David Stone. He was a wonderful teacher, a channel. He, he did soul psychology. So he would have these, um, WESAC, this is my little story now. He would have these WESAC conferences and, um, uh, so I, I met someone uh, up there and moved to Vienna. And then we moved after being in Vienna for a year, we moved to uh, to Ireland and then we split up. Um, so the the answer to your question is, it's a, a, I think it's a lot easier here. I've no doubt it's a lot easier here than it is in the States at the moment. And, um, you know, uh, I'm, as I said, I'm <clears throat> um, very conscious of... Uh, uh, all the, uh, you know, I mean, I felt for six months personally before the, the year started that something was coming, you know, and I couldn't shake it off. And it was really oppressive, you know, it's just feeling like, oh, dear, you know, <laughs> this is heavy. This is heavy. Yeah, this is this is heavy, everybody. And so, um, yeah. Um, so the astrology of this year and uh, these eclipses, you know, the current thing and how it the third one is on the 4th of July. I find that quite cosmic. And you and I are actually talking today on the second conjunction of Pluto and Jupiter. Uh, the first one was when we had the uh, that mass meditation of April 4th, I think it was. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, but um, you know, I'm watching what's happening in the States, of course, with great uh, concern. And uh, honestly, very grateful that things are quite so peaceful and stress-free uh, for me over here. My, my life has not changed that much because I do um, most of my stuff online and have done for the last several years. But um, the, that sense of, like you've described, uh, that sense of just uh, uh, being seized uh, by this new energy of, um, you know, knowing that the whole world is now going through a lot of the changes that that you and I have had to face in our own lives before these energies got so intense so that we could be um, well able to help people with compassion, with mercy, with kindness, with forgiveness, with tolerance, with acceptance, holding the space, all of that. So yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful and, and rather concerned, honestly, about the, the short term, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gosh. I mean, you know, it's like we get what we can, we can get what we can take. You know, we really do. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and you know, everybody was really positioned so perfectly. You know, when this when this exploded, it, it was again ironic. Here, the shelter in place order came in on exactly on equinox, like within like an huh. hour of equinox. It was in California. Um, right. Like the timing of these things is quite amazing. Um, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know, physically, you know, people just found themselves, you know, I had people here, like I had a Chinese woman and a Brazilian woman, and then they were here because they were meant to be here, you know, mm -hmm. and people were traveling and, and, you know, currently stuck in Australia or whatever. So right. we were being prepared, even though we weren't conscious of it, all of us, and then we're positioned where we needed to be for mm -hmm. the different cycles of this wave. Um, mm -hmm. the January shift. I I was in Mexico in January. That's where I needed to be, not in Mount Shasta. It was really interesting. The ten eleven mm. shift in January was to me was like literally waking up in a new world, like in a way I mm. never had before. Like waking mm -hmm. up, in a life, you know. And mm -hmm. I, I, and I, feel, <laughs> I, I feel the July one. I feel the eclipse. Yeah. Like I spoke about this a little bit in our circle. Um, yeah. I feel it's similar, 
but but wider, deeper and wider mm -hmm. in terms of like mm -hmm. the shift in consciousness. So mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to be holding a circle with the seven seven energies as well. So but I'm going to hold it on the fifth to embrace okay. the moon, the eclipse, and the seven seven. That, that's on my website. Just um, get in. Okay, there. thank you. We'll we'll put um, that out there. Yeah. Yeah, and people are so welcome to come together for thank that. You. I, I thank you. Thank you. Here, um, like, mm -hmm. like many of us, you know, I I I go I go where I'm meant to go, and I listen. Sure. <laughs> and I li I sure. Listen then yes, because what else can we do? We, we can fight, but you know, there's no point. Mm -hmm. And um, this is mm -hmm. what I'm here for. So, um, I'll be here in Chester anchoring. That's where I need to be for that. But mm -hmm. the circle of people from all over the globe. Um, and everybody again is not only bringing their own keys but connecting them. Um, yeah. You know, whether it's whether it's Glastonbury or or France or or whatever it might yeah. be, different different points around the states. Um, yeah. A lot of people connecting them from the states. And yeah, sure. you know, you're right. Like I just saw something this morning about you know I, I obviously don't look at most of it. <laughs> news, you know, but we do, we do need to kind of like we need to it, like. It does. It, it does break in occasionally. Yes, it does and, um, break in occasionally. Yeah, like the whole thing in America. America is kind of going like that in terms of rates of infection and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, um, yeah. So <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's, you know, multi-leveled, but, you know, undoubtedly, I feel that America, and in particular the West Coast, in particular California, and New York also, is is kind of the epicenter of this awakening. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so you're, mm -hmm. you're going to get this. You're going to get the extremes. And you know, sure, when I came here physically myself a few years ago, much as I knew without doubt it was the soul calling and the right thing at all yeah. levels. You know, my humans were like was really challenged by the sure. by the extremes that are so evident. And and that's why it is the epicenter because it's 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 displaying the extremes of the distortions of the patriarchal models and so on. Um, sure, honey. And oh, believe me, I don't miss that. I have to tell you, Helen, I don't miss that in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and the seeds of the new are are like so bright here. They're so bright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. And in the people, in some of the people, you know. Sure, and sure. So, so that's what I'm connecting with and calling for. Sure. So that we can sure. strengthen each other and we can, yeah. we can strengthen these connections with Gaia, with the grids, with each other's frequencies, wherever yeah. we need to be, um, through yeah. many levels to yeah. continue to support not only each other, but of course, mm -hmm. to, to bring up. As many beings as are ready and able and open, if they choose, you know, sure. everybody has their own path. We all have our own path. We all have sure choice and a certain amount of free will around all of us. Yes, this. yes. Well, I think that's beautiful. I mean, I think America. You know, uh, I want your feeling on this too. Um, I mean, America represents to me the ideal of human hope. You know. Uh, that, uh, you know, uh, we can live by principles and our ideals do matter. And um, we are, uh, you know, uh, able to uh, honor each other, you know, um, fairly and with dignity and, and uh, you know, truth and justice for all, as the saying goes. Um, but of course, you know, um, the Pluto return is like forcing all of us, uh, you know, to look at the shadow. You know, and um, and to and to re um, connect with you know in crisis we lose our footing, yeah. you know, and we get thrown back into ourselves. Um, uh, you know, um, my my healing crisis was around uh, grief. My dad was was actually murdered when I was seventeen, mm -hmm. and uh, so well, thank you, dear, thank you. But I wouldn't be sitting here talking with you today, my good lady, if that hadn't happened. Of course, you know. Uh, just like your your illness in your 20s and all this. So, you know, you and I know um, that there is always help available to us. And, you know, the, the work that we get to do with people is to invite them to begin to trust that and to believe that, you know, uh, at a deeper level. 
uh, so that when the outside is in chaos, we have a place within, of course, to retreat to and to be nourished and nurtured and healed and held and, and all of that. And I, um, so my feeling is that this is the shift for this decade, as you're saying about the divine feminine, of course, that everything has to come from the, the depth and the truth of our, of ourself, uh, you know, into the outer and, uh, all our distractions and, and, um, uh, attachments to illusions is just, you know, falling apart. All of it has to go. All of it has to go. You know, we can't just like, yeah, everything but, you know, on a different level, Caroline Mace talks about, you know, why some people, some heal and some people don't, you know, and how yes. to make, make healing conditional, you know, like, I say, oh, you know, I really want to stop smoking. I'll do anything, but not that, you know. <laughs> so, like, so like, you know, but not right. give up X, Y, or Z, you know. So it's like, people are like, right. well, I'm really here for a week and I'm going to check, but I want my comfortable house and my regular income and my, perfect partner sure. and whatever it might be That's yes you know no, these are all preferences of the woman and there's right. nothing wrong with that but recognize sure. the preferences of the mind and right. you know as we get to know our own essence more and more and live from here you know for me yeah. my life has been about this for, for decades and and it just goes deeper because every time i think that i'm here i realize there's still layers and layers of preference <gasps> If we're never finished. We're yeah, never done. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I, yeah. And I, that's right. Love it. You know? Yeah. Um, Amen. Well this, said. <laughs> but in this, um, yeah, it's like getting getting to know. Like you know, I talk about coming home. You know, my writings are called coming home, because we're coming yeah. home to ourselves. So this is like the heart, and then simultaneously, we are collective beings we are beings that belong in community of various yeah. forms and shapes and yeah. the, those forms and shapes don't like by and large don't exist um in the ways that will serve us they haven't existed so you know one of my one of my strands is is contributing to and calling this in in how we create entirely new resonant ways of being in community whether that mm. th three people or, or 300 or whatever and again sure. many of us are starting to wake in to turn to the land to localize rather than globalize to come together with soul family and to, to get simple as well and simultaneously to open up to access in the energetic technologies and wisdom mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and magic <clears throat> that we have access to as multidimensional yeah. beings. So sure. for me, my my truth and my joy encompasses you know, deep simplicity in being grounded in the body and the land and mm -hmm. the fullness of our cosmic nature. It's not, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's not human or multidimensional being. We are, mm -hmm. we are, we are God. We are source, mm -hmm. in a form, in a form, mm -hmm. set mm -hmm. separate from form. So, mm -hmm. and this is the marriage, right? This is the union. This is mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. formless in form, and this is, this is the, this is the ecstasy. Much as it can feel like agony and feel like. You know, intense challenge. Like we get to play here. We get to play here. Yeah. With these amazing tools, with mind and body. Yes. And, yes. And, and to create. And yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, the the we, quote. Yeah. Sorry. Go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, know, I was just going to say, like, mostly we've forgotten that we've been, you know, we've been disconnected from it, and it's and it's not valued. You know, all right. the stories right. around productivity and work and the machines and so on. So, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Put them in their joy and their play as well, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just going to give you the quote from my channeling, uh, which is, the heart knows what the mind struggles to believe. Yeah. You know, and that that is the, the divine surrender and, um, you know, um, uh, helping people to understand that there is something within us to surrender to. You know, and it is it is ecstatic and blissful, and um, beautiful and gentle and nurturing and uh, intimate and and you know 
understands us at the deepest level. Yeah. And fierce and all consuming. And who yeah. will die, but, but what will die? You know, and it's like, and who is surrendering? Um, sure. You know, sure. I've, la I've laughed at myself many times over the years. You know, I, you know, like the theme of letting go, you know, that has just been at the core of everything in my path for, for decades. And yeah. you know, the, the part in the psyche that goes, but I have let go, I did surrender. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It's a moment to moment practice. It's, sure. It's the sure. Teacher, you know, and, and when you do it. Um, sure. Because we keep, we keep then, as we go deeper and higher and wider, we keep finding that next la layer of where there, where there's an attachment to the addiction right. to judgment, for instance, is, is so addictive. It's so, and it's so built into our social yeah. structures, right? Competitiveness yeah. and comparison, all of this stuff. So yeah. it's a continual practice and it's part of our reclaiming of our sovereignty. That we yeah. no longer give energy out to those things that are encouraged by, you know, like social media and everything. All of that is really sure, important. sure. Well, isn't it isn't it very elegant, you know, how that uh, first we had uh, the the virus, uh, you know, that has uh, checked everyone's connection to the to our mortality and to our health. So that's absolutely core. Then there was the financial uh results of that which you know everyone is looking at that now deeply more deeply and then we had um you know uh, george floyd and black lives matter and all of that about equality and justice and fairness and and the kind of society that we live in so these are all of these are fundamental core human belief systems that are being pu pulled up by the roots i'd say you know yeah and i and we're just beginning you know, like oh yeah, yeah, yes. Deal, you know, it's like yeah. you know, get ready, people. Like, like this is just tip of the iceberg stuff. Um, sure, sure. I do know. I do know. Yeah, and and I was saying <laughs> yeah. at some point, I was saying like, you know, just to remember that there is only the divine, right? There is only the divine. The divine intelligence is always at play in the darkest of places. Um, it's so easy to even subtly get pulled, and we see all this in the spiritual community about it different ways. It's so mm -hmm. easy to give mm -hmm. the energy away um, to these concepts and to mm -hmm. fight to more forms, right. of more forms of separation. It's this, no, it's this. Right. The, 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 my spiritual viewpoint is better than your spiritual viewpoint. Right, right, right. And it's, we're just our energy is just being siphoned and hijacked for more of the same, you know. I um, yes. So there is only the divine. There is only source, and that's not to be in la la land and everything's fine. And let's just yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But there's no here and pretend that things aren't happening. Like you know, we're here like with with one foot in each now. You know, we're here to bridge worlds. And to be That's brave right. enough to not turn away, right? To not turn away sure. from the horror, like the horror yeah. that exists yeah. all the time. Yeah. And can we stay open to love? Can we stay right. open to the divinity that we are? Right, um, right. Yeah. This is, I, I, like, I just, I can just, like, know in my belly that this is an entirely new level of challenge of that you know beyond religion where god is somewhere up here and you know all that sure and if you're good you get there or you're punished and if there was a good god why is there terrible things on the planet we're in an entirely new <clears> level <throat> of invitation of embodiment of our own divinity sure um, sure embrace these levels of darkness and shadow yes yes and, and the magnificence of our capacity for love yeah and, yeah and peace and joy and light and forgiveness and, and all of those yeah things. yeah well hun, you, since you are the mother of teenagers <laughs> can i ask you to talk about uh the the wisdom and the insights uh from our younger friends and what you see mm. from them mm. wow well i mean the, the generations, you know, the last couple of generations that have been coming in are just like, wow. Um, yeah. 
you know, so awake and able to like hit the ground running, you know, without having to chip through the layers of programming that those of us that, that went before, you know, we've each had a different role in what we've been doing. Um, sure. And, you know, the beings that are in my life are all very, very different. And one of the gifts they give me is challenging my ideas again about all of that, all of that. So they fight and reject a lot of what I am about. <laughs> of course, <laughs> isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Yes, and they think you're crazy, right? Super grounding. Yeah. And they are powerful, powerful beings. And yes. um, my eldest son was very, well, he is very, very sensitive and he was very aware of everything until his 10th yeah. year when he closed it down because wow. he, could, he couldn't. He couldn't survive yeah. it and he had for a couple yeah. of years you know he was really like wasn't sure if he was going to be in the planet um right bless him all very very different and my my first daughter who's grown um came in with a condition called angelman syndrome because it was a doctor angelman um that discovered it because she's an angel and she can't speak and she needs lifelong care and she wow god bless completely heart-centered this feeling of love. She Boy. is one of my biggest teachers. I was a I was, a, bad. I was a teenager when she came into my life. Wow. Um, and Bless your heart. We've had a huge <sighs> journey together through um, I I can imagine, darling. Yeah. That's gigantic. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There's 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 a lot more pieces to it, but um yeah. So you know, mm. she she's my <clears throat> first and perhaps greatest teacher to to start to show me what life was actually about that life i was very, mm. acad I was very mm -hmm. academic i was you know started a phd when i got ill and everything i was it all in the mind and she right was, like calling me back to the heart and that life is about connection right. and right. she's never spoken a word in her life and she is wow. pure, pure love um yeah Wow. So, yeah, so they're Amazing. Really different. And then my daughter came to me from Ethiopia. I said that's a story not to go into just now, but you know, nothing, there was nothing in my human uh, intent to, you know, bring right. me from Ethiopia. And it happened miraculously. And she's wow. a big, mighty, incredible being. She's already oh, been across beautiful. two continents. And oh. she's got big, big work on the planet. Um, yeah, that comes with yeah. challenges. She's had a lot of challenges. Sure. So, wow. and my son, another one of my sons, died at birth. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm so, sorry. But well, he survived. When I say he died at birth, his heart stopped. Um, okay. Survived and okay. Had an impact from that. So right. He has a unique set of challenges as well. So they're, oh, they're, all, very, they're all very different. And my other son had the same illness that I had. In his teens, and he was very ill. Um, wow, so Jesus, Helen, you like a challenge, <laughs> huh? I love you, darling. Bless your heart. You're mom of the year, I'd say. Well, well, you know, we this, this is how we set it up, you know, and yeah. And uh, my my human had no intention of having any children, but my soul set it up this way. Uh, right. if, I'm, if I'm here to carry mother energy and. To and you are <laughs> new ships across all levels. I chose sure. that it had to, it had to be handed. You know, it's it's easy it's easy to talk about these things. It would you know sure. I, I would you know to sit in a cave and meditate all day would be a piece of cake. You know? Sure, um, sure, sure. Like I you know I I do I have my practices and my work and all these things and I have a house full of you know teenagers. Right. And all the rest of it. Right. So, um, right. And, do, and this do you, is, this are is you, a reflection, I think, of where we are in terms of the embodiment. Sure. May, may I be very nosy and ask, uh, do you have a partner, or are you doing all this on your own? Or? I'm doing it all on my own, like you. There was a love factor to get me across the Atlantic of a very beautiful, deep love that didn't right. you know, have a relationship right. that didn't last. Right. Um, wow. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Okay, I just had to ask. Uh, you know, uh, get the whole picture here. Uh, bless you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can, I, sweetheart, I'm just thrilled to to connect with you and, and become friends here, I hope. And uh, 
uh, just just see what what great work you're doing. And you, ha I don't want to keep you here uh, from all your many many rounds. Uh, now that you've just described them, uh, I'm sure somebody's hungry or needs something somewhere. Um, but um, you have a fantastic following, and uh, uh, you know I'm just uh, wanting people to know how to find you and and connect with your work. I've put it on uh, the link here with uh, with this. Um, but is so you have your Facebook and um, YouTube. I've just subscribed, and you have your website. Sure, pleasure, pleasure. So, how often do you do your your Zoom groups? Um, it's usually at least once a month. Well, you know, again, it's just as I'm guided. So, um, it usually ties in with the moon cycles, and then you know, this time of year, there's so much happening with the eclipses and so on. So, there's going to be yeah. one to say on the fifth for that whole day, okay. seven seven. Um, okay. And then, I, I, like, um, I'm going to be holding a re retreat for the Lionsgate eight eight gateway, in right? Shastra, that's gone through various incarnations, and I didn't know until literally yesterday. I think it was when I was on the mountain that <clears throat> I'm going to still go ahead with it in a small, okay. more intimate scale. So, okay, there's some information on my site about that. Um, okay. I'm also, you know, I'm also open to invitations um, to come to areas. Great. And hold a place. You know, I've, I was holding physical groups here in Mount Shasta every month, um, oh, you know, for the last couple of years, blend, mm -hmm. and bringing through the frequencies with some new mm -hmm. necessary and sound and so on as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, like, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I follow my guidance, like, like well, what else can sure. I do and follow my heart? So. Sure. Sure. And this is this is my work and this is what I'm here for. So I'm always happy to hear from people and great, great. And, yeah, Brilliant. Thanks. Well, thank you, darling. You accepted mine with uh, without any any fuss uh, about it at all. So I'm 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 so very grateful to you. And your blog is beautiful, and I, I want to encourage you with your writing, uh, whenever uh, you, yeah, whenever you're passionate about that, because obviously. My friend, you have a story to tell. I'd say you have you have a few stories to tell. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. I do you know it's funny, we, like, like just, you know, we're talking about, about timing and stuff. I I've only just realized that, you know, I was giving myself a hard time when I hadn't finally got it together and got things published before now. But it wasn't the time actually. Sure. It wasn't the sure. Time I needed to wait for this. So sure. it is going it is going to be my priority. Um, Brilliant. to get some of those Brilliant. pieces of, of um, more substantial work out. Thank you for the encouragement. I appreciate it. Sure, my pleasure. My pleasure. And well, if you. I can ever be of any help to you, please let me know. Yeah? Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Sure, honey. Thank you. Great to connect. Sure. Pleasure. Pleasure. I'll leave you. Have a wonderful day there in beautiful California. And um, my best to uh, to you and your family and and all your all your work. Keep up the good work. I know you will. Bless you. Peace and blessings. Thanks, my friend. God bless you. Bye for now. Cheers.